Tacoma. I'm talking about the first person walking simulator, not the uh, pickup truck. Is it good? Well, yeah, it's pretty good. Has decent miles to a gallon, good seating. As for the game, well... Tacoma is an eye-catching adventure with a story to tell and an atmosphere where you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the game at your own pace. Kind of like their other game that they made, Gone Home, you know. The one where you could just go through this wall here and get a key and then you unlock the attic and then read the journal and then you beat the game in under a minute. Well the good news is that Fulbright learned from that. Now there's a longer time to speedrun this game. Or you can just sit back and wait for the game to beat itself for you. As of right now, Tacoma is available on the Xbox One and Steam. But it's also using the Unity engine, so... Hey, at least it has controller support, especially the Steam controller. It's nice that Tacoma could use the Steam Big Picture Mode thingy, so it can be used by like the 10 people who have the Steam Link. How's the game on controller? You know what? You know what? It, 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 it's fine. It's not fine. This is... Who sold me on this thing? Was it Ned? Cause... Fucking hell. Oh my... Ah, my eyes! Just, just stick to keyboard and mouse. You play as Ellen Ripley, some space woman that is tasked to recover and log the events that occurred at a space shuttle vacation thing. Hey, she also carries a Shiga Slate, just like that other game that carries a Shiga Slate. The bread and butter of Tacoma is this AR recovered data data thing where you watch a recorded event that took place around the area. And here you could just pause or rewind the sequence if you want to follow a specific character or sneak hack into their virtual desktop and see who they're sexting or what kind of body pillow they just ordered. Speaking of characters, they're... Interesting. I had fun following them and learning small details about them, like what dilemmas they have, how they feel about other spacemen, is there another word to call them? One problem I noticed is the severe lack of coasters in their room. Look, I get it, you're gonna have a drink or five in space, but come on, I mean, these, these are unappealing, you gotta, you gotta put a coaster down. You're gonna see them for about a year. Also, why are you in space for a year? I, I mean, it just seems unbearable, you know? You see the same people every day with nothing great going on besides space, lame parties, some Sorry, Alexa device that has line. bad cake Rudy, recipes. Uh, this is what you wanted, isn't it? That is a fairly accurate representation of my instructions. See, he loves it. Thank you, Odin. That'll be all. Yeah, There's nothing here. Space botany, the gym, and these books you read while in the space toilet. Most of them also have poor handwriting, so uh, gonna knock some points off of that. Uh, what else? Uh, there's space basketball. Lone Echo! More like, Lone Garbage. Not even close. God, it, it really feels lonely to play this game. Boom shakalaka! Billy also makes a guest appearance. Oh, what the fuck? Billy? The hell are you doing in this game? Music is pretty good. Sometimes. Ugh, really? Oh, and there's a Christmas duck. Pow. Pow. In my opinion, Tacoma's a pretty good game. It's better than the majority of the walking adventures I've played. And it's a lot more interesting than its predecessor. It's pretty short, but I enjoyed my time with it. I recommend it.